Welcome back everyone to another Lego Star Wars video. Today I have a couple things to talk about. Uh, most importantly, actually, if you guys remember, uh, all throughout 2023, there was a, uh, a leak that actually happened involving the UCS Jabba sail barge, okay, that could have possibly came out last October, but that ended up being the Venator. And now going into 2024, it's seeming more likely than ever that that might be the October UCSF for this year. So uh, before we get into the uh, Java sail barge talk, I do want to give you guys an honest recommendation. If you guys have a couple minutes after you watch this video, I highly recommend going to check out uh, Ryan's video from yesterday, MNR Productions. Uh, if you guys remember on my channel, I was talking about the Visual Dictionary, the new one for 2024, and how it does seem like there will be a 25th anniversary minifigure in that book uh, with special 25th anniversary printing on them. And Ryan came out with the video yesterday with uh, you know his theory and his ideas that truly kind of blew everyone else's idea out of the water. I mean, if you watch that video, it's about six minutes long. Uh, a lot of things connect in that video. And I'd be very surprised if he's not 100% right with that. So after this video, I highly recommend you want to check out that one. But so without further ado, let's get into what we know about the Jabba Sail Barge. So uh, once again, if you guys don't know by now, if you guys are new to the channel, um, you know, this survey happened uh, early 2023. And it pretty much was asking people, you know, what they would pay for certain sets at what price point or at what, at what piece count. And basically, I'll give you guys a list right here. We have the Snow White Cottage, a Melissa, Maleficent Dragon, uh, a Donald Duck buildable figure, a Zelda the Great Deku Tree, a Barad Dur, a Medieval vil uh, Village, a Harry Potter Burrow, a uh, Batman Animated Series uh, Art Piece, a Jabba Sail Barge, which is the biggest thing for us to talk about, uh, a Buildable Simba, an X Mansion, and then a Sorting Hat. So of course, back at that time, uh, you know, kind of the two biggest, you know, topics of discussion were, you know, first off, are these coming out? You know, if so, when? Are they going to be 2023? Are they going to be 2024? And the second thing was, you know, even if they were official and LEGO was planning on making them, was LEGO maybe going to cancel them now and not make them just due to the fact of leaking super early and having their designs possibly stolen by you know, competitive companies. Uh, that, those were kind of the two biggest things, okay? So we pretty much went uh, you know, about six months in 2023, I think it was about October, um, where we started getting our first pieces of information regarding some of these sets that were actually gonna start coming in 2024, okay? So like I said, we have 12 of them here, and there are five of them right now that are you know basically officially rumored to actually come out in 2024. First off, we have the Lego Barad Dur for $460, uh, 5,500 pieces coming out June 2024. Uh, next up, we have the Sorting Hat right here, which is actually going to be a talking one. Uh, this is a Harry Potter set for $100, I believe a March 1st release date. And then next up, we have the Snow White's Cottage right here, 43242, $220, a March 1st release with a couple figures, of course. Uh, then we also have that uh, the Gotham City art piece that is also officially rumored uh, for an April 2024 release, $300, 4,200 pieces. And then lastly, we do have the Medieval Town Square, uh, 3,300 pieces coming out next, or, you know, this year also. And then as well as the buildable Simba, uh, that one has pretty much been officially rumored as well for, you know, actually coming out in 2024. So one of the biggest takeaways here is to note that, uh, you know, not all of the original kind of rumored price points and piece counts line up. You know, there are some of these with uh, significant uh, piece count differences. You know, the Barad Dur was supposed to be around 4,000 pieces, and now it's looking to be about 5,500 pieces. So, and that was even more apparent too, because if you guys actually look at the pictures that came out back then, which I can't put them on the video here, but I'll probably put the Jabba Sail Barge image um, on my Instagram story over on uh, Instagram, you know, at LifeBricks. Uh, basically, you know, the Sail Barge was supposed to be 6,500 pieces, but no way in the world was the actual leaked image anything more than maybe 3,000 pieces. It definitely looked like a much kind of smaller, only maybe slightly bigger than play scale size uh, when the original kind of rumor uh, was 6,500 pieces. That's kind of what was on the survey list. So uh, basically with all that being said, let's get into what we actually know regarding the sail barge. And that's not much, okay? So uh, these first five sets are coming out in the first half of 2024. And I was basically under the assumption that they might maybe do half and half, okay? There's 12 of them. I got a feeling they might maybe do six in the first half and six in the second half. And of course, the Jabba Sail Barge being part of that second half. And, you know, knowing, uh, you know, LEGO Star Wars UCS release dates, uh, presumably sometime in October, okay? Because the May 4th UCS set for next year, if you guys don't know yet, is a UCS TIE Interceptor. You know, that's taking up that $240 spot. And the Sail Barge, of course, cannot be, you know, also coming out on that date. You know, the earliest kind of time for a UCS sail barge would be in the fall of 2024. So basically to kind of bookend what we know on the survey is it looks like these sets are actually coming, okay? I've had you know, multiple people kind of reach out and, and tell me it looks like 
we will be getting all of these at some point. You know, none of them are straight up no's, okay? And we have five of them basically officially rumored. We have the Simba that is kind of the next step from being, uh, you know, 100% officially rumored. And then the other six could possibly be coming out in that back half of the year, which only makes sense. Of course, you know, Lego has been giving us a lot of expensive sets, but I don't blame them for not putting out, you know, 12 pretty expensive sets, you know, all ranging from like 100 to $600 um, all in the first half of the year. And there's a lot of other sets that, of course, were not on that survey, you know, that are $100 plus coming out in the first half of 2024 also. So that kind of further, you know, kind of proves why I think they might be doing a six and a six piece uh, on that survey. So uh, that's kind of, you know, the book end of the survey. But now let's get into what we kind of think. And, you know, these are my predictions and, you know, start the discussion on what we think the UCS Java sale bars will be. So again, it says it was going to be 6,500 pieces. The actual leaked picture we got was no way in the world, you know, 6,500. And here's where I'm kind of thinking they'll do it, okay? Because it's UCS, all right? And recently, the UCS sets have not been really, you know, coming out with too many minifigures. You know, we've been getting uh, too many figures in most of them. And, you know, we've been getting up to about four or five or six in some of them. And the biggest thing with the Jabba sale barge, a lot of you guys have talked about, is spending that much money on it. Say they actually do make it 6,500 pieces. Think about that for a second. That is going to be at least $650 at that point. All right, no one, no way in the world it's not. You know, you throw in any form of minifigure in there, which the most obvious one would be a, you know, Jabba, okay, which even if it's not a new mold, it's still bringing back the existing mold that is a very big mold. And if it if tells you anything you know, some of these dinosaurs from the Jurassic World sets, you know, that could add 15, 20 extra dollars just for a bigger mold like that. And that's probably what Jabba's going to do. All right. Let alone if they give us, you know, four minifigures, six minifigures, eight minifigures, which I think that's what they're going to have to do for something like this. If they want to sell us a 600 plus dollar sale barge, you know, I'm all for, I think stuff like the Falcon, the ATAT, -AT, you know, stuff like that, even the Venator, you know, they have a fan base where, of the actual vehicle itself. There's a lot of people that like, you know, like AT-ATs, the uh, Millennium Falcon, iconic for the actual ship itself. But the sail barge, on the other hand, I gotta be honest with you, maybe it's just because I'm a different generation and did not grow up with the OT, but I've had a lot of people, you know, from even that demographic saying, you know, the sail barge itself is not like its own, you know, pop culture icon, you know, necessarily. Like it really does correlate to the scene itself, you know, the characters on the actual, you know, sail barge, you know, Jabba, Slave Leia, Luke, the actual scene itself, and, you know, the skiffs around it. So if they come out with something, you know, like this, I almost feel like it has to be maybe a mix of UCS and MBS, because, again, I think just selling us a big $650, you know, reddish brown uh, boat with sails on it is not going to do too well, all right? But if they were to do something where, if they were to ask, you know, $650, but make the sail barge maybe forty five or 5,000 pieces, where you can equate that to about maybe $500 of value. They can then in turn give us a couple desert skiffs. They can give us the Sarlacc pit. They can give us, you know, the whole lineup of 12 minifigures. This could be a nice little, you know, mix of a UCS and MBS set to kind of, you know, fill in that void of not having any additional MBS sets for a while. Okay. All right, guys, so that's pretty much, you know, where we're at on these sale bars. You know, uh, bottom line of it, I would love to know down below, um, you know, if, if LEGO really is coming out with the sale bar still in 2024, which we should know here pretty soon because the Venator got, you know, rumored in April of 2023, okay? You know, and the sale barge here would be kind of the same thing if, if so. I mean, maybe a little bit earlier, uh, just due to the fact that it's already kind of, you know, out there in the, in the ether of like, you know, people know about it, you know, so maybe the people that, you know, maybe find out that it is officially coming, maybe they don't care to, you know, actually say it a couple weeks early uh, because it's pretty, I'm not gonna say obvious, but I think a lot of us expect the sale bars already. So kind of hearing confirmation really would be no surprise to anyone. But um, anyway, you look at it, that is all for today's video. People have asked me about it. Uh, there's really no direct updates on the sale bars, but there are a lot of good updates regarding stuff surrounding the sale bar. So um, yeah, I would love to know down below guys, what you guys think, how would you guys want the sale bars to be? If they you know put out a $650 sale bars, uh, how would you want it? Would you just want the biggest barge possible? Would you want, you know, 20 minifigures? Would you want some desert skips? Would you want everything included? Uh, let me know down below, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys, and stay safe.